is quite fun position that guy sitting on a bike. So like these are the line of bikes. Not sure if it works that well. Seems to get it. <laughs> this might turn out to be a cool shot, spotted this worker. Um, and I'm just looking for details in the minute. So I liked him holding his sign when the sign was covering his face and you know, bright orange and stuff. So quite a close crop there. And then I spotted this reflection. I'm going to wait for him to walk and stop the, where them bikes are going. He stops the traffic there. So I'm going to wait for him to walk there and get put the camera really, really low to the floor. A bit difficult with a 50 mil, but it's quite good because it's almost like I can zoom in a little bit and get a portrait. So I'm going to get a reflection of this pod here. And I think that'll work out quite well. I'm going to have him in the right top right hand corner of the, of the of the camera i have to flip the screen out like this i've got one shot but i'm going to try and improve on it really really nice um f 2.8 and i'm on aperture priority at the minute and i've got the compensation down a stop because he's very very bright with that reflective clothing something i'm going to try too is i've put the camera on dynamic range 400 which is something i use for video because it'll protect the highlights a bit more but i've always worried about it with photography because i love my tones i love my highlights i love the sort of the natural fall off of shadows and stuff and i worry if you've got a high dynamic range of 400 whether that will crucify that but i'm going to give it a go for these shots because it's a really bright day uh, it just means the iso will probably be at a minimum of 640 for all the photographs but i'm not bothered about that but yeah it'd be interesting to see how the raws come out uh, knowing that the dynamic range is adjusted So I got here yesterday and I thought for shits and giggles I got back to the hotel and um, it's the first day yesterday that all the pubs were open in London, well in the UK, and not Wales though, <laughs> just, in, just in England, which sucks. And I thought I'd have a wander around and see if I could get any um, cool scenes of people enjoying the pubs being open and whatnot, because that's been <laughs> something everybody's missed, let's be honest. Um, but it didn't happen, there wasn't really many people in them at all, I was really, really surprised to see how all the pubs were open but there wasn't many people in them so yeah i tried my hand at a bit of night photography as well that didn't go to plan because i'll be honest if you don't know where you're going it can be really intimidating walking down these dark alleyways and whatnot especially if those lads go around on bikes and whatnot <laughs> it can be intimidating so i didn't really get anything last night but it was good fun oh now i'm in shade that's a fantastic idea well done gareth actually that lady through that window Go on, hang on. Brick Lane, man. This is dead. Just been talking to a graffiti artist on the back of um, one of the back streets in Brick Lane. Now, this is normally a really quirky place to go. I didn't actually mean to end up here, but I <laughs> kind of accidentally followed my feet and ended up here. Um, and he said to get out of it because he says it just changed. He says definitely get out, out of this part of London because if you're looking for quirky people, especially for portraits and street photography and stuff like that, he says you're not going to get it in Brick Lane anymore. It's just gone really, really commercial. Uh, nobody dresses commercial, nobody dresses quirky and stuff like that. So he says the best people you're going to meet are at West London. So he's actually given me a location to head to, which um, I'm meeting one or two friends now. So they're on the train. So hopefully I can get in touch with them and uh, yeah, we can, uh, we can go somewhere else, but I'm looking around, but no, everyone's just wearing like normal clothes. It's 
It's nowhere near as it's just a normal fashion shop in there. It's nowhere near as quirky as it used to be. So yeah, bit of a shock to Brick Lane. Wow, times are changing. <laughs> we both started filming at the same time, we? <laughs> Is it worth filming around here then? Yeah. Yeah, it's right. Yeah? Something's going to happen. I think so. There's people anyway, so that's a start. There's people. Did you get There's people. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of just did a guy sitting. Did he clock you? Not at all. Not at all. I was stood there for ages, and the more I looked at the photograph, the more I thought it's just a guy sitting at a, a bar. <laughs> and then it was interesting for the first 10 seconds, and then the more I worked the composition, the more I thought. Nothing's actually happening in the photograph, so I don't know, it'll probably be crap. Anyway, we're in Marleybone, apparently. I'll, I'll take him up their word for it. Um, and there's people, <laughs> which is epic news, because uh, I feel like we've been walking around forever, not actually found anything to photograph at all. Spell of rain, that's buggered off. Nice light now, so we can, uh, we can actually do some street photography again. I feel like I've been walking around for like three hours and out seeing a single photograph, which is quite stressful. So yeah, this is quite good. Um, Looking forward to... <laughs> he knew I was taking his photo up and he, did. he no, 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 cause, cause walked straight in at me. Never mind around me, he was walking straight at me. <laughs> Fabian, if how dark it's gone is an indication of how shit it's going to get in a minute. It's Why, not light for us. Is, huh? Not for us, because we love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I come to London from Wales to get away from this kind of weather. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's followed me again. A spot of rain and the umbrella's out. Yeah. <laughs> Cats and frigging dogs. Roman, this is all your fault for wearing your summer frigging trousers. <laughs> and again. Here it is, thunder like it. <laughs> That's amazing. That is proper thunder. Unless it was uh, your belly, was it? <laughs> it's literally feeling like I've taken the piss out of the Fuji long enough. I've been probably a good 45 minutes in absolutely pissing it down in rain i was about to put the camera in the bag it stopped raining and uh kind of stopped raining anyway and this guy's just come walking down this walkway with an umbrella on and it might save the day because i wasn't feeling like i got a shot that i was particularly excited about so thrilled to have got that shot really really looking forward to seeing that so yeah f2 camera nice nice and light low to the floor and um add on continuous autofocus with a small zone sec section on the top middle third and I think I've got a good shot there. So yeah, looking forward to seeing that. It looks good. Let's hope the Fuji didn't miss focus. And also in the rain, the front element of the lens is constantly, constantly getting soaked. So yeah, constantly having to give that a wipe, but yeah, worth it. I think that's a, that might have saved the day. It's always at the last minute though, isn't it? Thanks. 
Simas. Where's the rainbow? Ah! Uh, left of St. Paul. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> it's not quite as epic as you... As you <laughs> no. Bit of an anti-climax that one, Fabian. <laughs> a little bit. Well, I was going for a rainbow. Take it. It's almost gone already. There's enough there for you to Photoshop yeah. something <laughs> on top of it. Sky drop. Look at this. I'm not sure why I'm drawn to it, but I find this quite funny. <laughs> it's a pair of shoes wedged. I can't really get both of them in because that's got a dark background, but that one on its own might be quite funny. How on earth did that end up there? I don't get it. I don't understand how these cameras survive in the rain that i know that i know i get it when you buy <laughs> when you buy the buggers they say weather sealed you're buying the camera for its weather seal and partly but it doesn't mean i've never condoned i've never even thought that you could walk around for an hour and 45 minutes there was there was way over an hour and a half we were walking around in the rain and the camera got absolutely soaked obviously it's a weather sealed camera this is the xt3 of course i was, film, I was shooting with the xt4 um weather sealed camera weather sealed lens so you gotta have you gotta have both but literally, not an issue. I, I, I said to Fabian, we were on the bridge at the end of the video, and I went to flip the screen out of the X-T4, and inside where the screen was sat was just full of water. The screen was just sat in water for basically an hour or an hour and a half, and absolutely no issues. I'm looking at it now. It's just, it just, I don't know, just blows my mind. And I know, I know, I know, I get it. That's why they advertise where the ceiling on them. But to be honest with you, I just thought it was a marketing gimmick, right? Because I've never, I've never endorsed or tell anybody it's a good idea in the soaking rain, in so it, when it's pissing it down, to go out with your camera and, and not to take precaution. But it's almost like they're waterproof. I mean, obviously they're not. They're obviously, let me know in the comments if you had any issues. In fact, you yeah, do let me know because I'm really interested if anybody's had any issues. I actually don't know if anybody had an issue recently with rain. Obviously, salt water might be different if you're down by the coast because that'll erode through anything. But with rainwater, um, obviously on the X100, you've got to have this filter on the front to make it weatherproof, but flipping unbelievable. I always feel every time it's pissing it down with rain that I should really put the camera away or get an umbrella or try and take precaution, you know, be responsible, be a responsible parent to your camera, right? Um, but I've never had an issue. Um, I've really, really never had an issue. And obviously I'm, I'm mega impressed with for street photography. You get some amazing opportunities in the rain. Um, some really, really cool umbrella shots and stuff like that. So. Yeah, you wouldn't want to stop shooting just because it was raining. So yeah, absolutely blown away by how resilient these cameras seem to be. Now, I don't, I don't know the actual science behind or how many weather sealing points or anything like that. All I know is it flipping works, it works well. So yeah, really, really impressed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't already, do check out F8 Magazine. It's my street photography publication. It's a um, quarterly publication and you can fe feature your images in there. So every month, every quarter sorry we um, have about 30 photographers from all around the world and um, and their stories of course behind the images also there's two interviews in each magazine as well so yeah use the hashtags below and uh, you can feature your images in the magazine we'll look out for your images online also join the facebook group street photography creators and uh, join the conversation there but anyway i'll rabbit no more hope you enjoyed the video let me know which image you think worked best out of the whole video is one or two that i really really i'm really really pleased with so yeah hope you enjoyed the video let me know which photograph you think works best and if i've missed any shots in the video if you think i missed a glaringly obvious photograph let me know the timestamp for that and i'll look forward to seeing that as well anyway thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you again soon take care Thank you.